So now that we're uh, a little clearer about what a tree is, let's look at a terminology that is associated with trees. Um, first of all, we have what we call nodes. So this would be a tree, an example of a tree. And the first thing that we define in a tree are nodes. So just like in a list, we had multiple elements or nodes that were connected by previous and next references. In this case, we're going to have these nodes and they're going to be containing our elements, or containing references to our elements. Um, so a node could be called a node or a vertex, and uh, there are two types of nodes, actually three. There's the root node, and there's one unique root node in a root tree. There are internal nodes, so these are nodes which have a parent and a child defined for them. And there are leaf nodes. A leaf node doesn't have children, so it ends right here. Uh, but it does have a parent. Um, uh, then we also define edges. What is an edge? An edge is a, is a, is a parent-child pair. So any parent-child pair that you can find here would be one edge. So this is an edge, that is an edge, that's another edge, and that would be an edge, and that one too. So um, every node actually has an edge uh, associated with it and with its parent. So basically you take it, the node and the, the one parent that it has, so every node can have a, a, max of, a maximum of one parent, and there you, you would have an edge. The only node that wouldn't have an edge defined as, with it, um, if we look up, would be the root node, because it doesn't have a parent. So you can't actually associate, but you can also associate a, uh, uh, an edge right here and an edge right there. Um, a path is basically a sequence of edges, so if we were to go from the root right here, to say this one, to this node, this would be a path. So you're traversing this edge from this parent to that child and then from this parent to that child. So a path would be a sequence of edges. And a path is, uh, uh, has, has a length associated with it and it's basically just a number of edges that it has in it. Uh, or if you will you can think of it as a number of vertices minus one or the number of nodes minus one. So in this case we would have one, two, and three and this would define a path, two edges, or three minus one uh, edges, or three is the number of nodes in that in that uh, path. So now this is just for terminology, and um, let's define a rooted tree. What exactly is a rooted tree? A uh, rooted tree is a is a tree that when it is empty, we refer to it as an empty tree. It has no elements in it, and if it's not empty, this is where it gets interesting. It it must have a unique root node. So there's one unique root node, and this unique root node has all of the other nodes as its children or, or uh, descendants. And um, so this is one condition. And the other condition is that all other nodes have one parent. So every other single node that we have in our tree, or root of tree, would have a parent. So if you looked up, it, w it must have a parent, unless we're talking about the root. Um, so um, when we say that it must have one parent, we're basically just defining a unique edge, just like we showed up there. So when we talk about one node and we say it must have one parent, then therefore we just defined a, a, an edge. And so we can say that uh, it follows from this definition that if we have n nodes in a tree, then we have n minus 1 edges. So this minus 1 accounts for the fact that the root doesn't have an edge. The root doesn't have a parent, so you can't define an edge for it. Um, so these are just facts about trees. Um, what is a subtree? A subtree is any node and its children. So within a tree, we could have subtrees. So this would define a subtree. And in fact, we could even say that this entire tree is a subtree of itself, but that's a trivial fact. Um, the depth or level of a node. So these are two definitions relating to a node. This is like a property of a node. When you look at a node, you can define its depth or level and height. Uh, the, the depth would be the length of a unique path from the root to the node. So when we look at this particular node, we would have to find the unique path going from the root to that node and just get it l its length. So in this case we have just one step here. This is the path and so the length is one. So our depth here for this particular node would be one. And of course we define the, the root depth, the depth of this single element as zero. So these are just uh, properties associated with, with the nodes of a tree.